This lesson is all about the zone of proximal development. This sounds tricky, but don't worry, I will use this diagram to explain simply what these words mean. We already have things that we can do already. We also have things that are so difficult that we can't do them even with lots of help. In between is the zone of proximal development. This is what we can do, but only when we get a little help. This is the ideal zone for us to be when learning something new. It's just outside the learner's comfort zone. As we practice these skills with less and less help, they eventually move into the can-do part of our diagram. Learners should work out what skills are in their zone of proximal development and work on them with a little bit of help. This help could be from parents, teachers, friends, or even the internet. So what is in your zone of proximal development?